Hi there, Lisa Arana here and welcome to another video. Today's card is all about creating an amazing textured star background that literally raises off the page. I'm featuring the Things Will Work Out stamp set from Unity Stamp Company. I'm using the heart and feather wreath and that scripty thinking of you sentiment. I'm starting out with my cardstock taped to a craft mat using painter's tape and then next I'm lining up my star stencil over that background, placing it where I want it, and again using some more painter's tape to keep it in place. The tape just keeps it from slipping and messing up my background. To create the texture and raised look of the stars, I'm using light modeling paste from the art section of my craft store. There are lots of products you can use to recreate this technique. You can also use texture paste or gel or even lightweight spackling from the hardware store. I've done all three successfully. To apply the product, I have a putty knife I picked up from the dollar store. You could also use a spare gift card or an art spatula to help spread the product in a thin layer. I picked up the product and then gently slide it across the stencil in a thin layer multiple times and in different directions just to make sure each hole is filled in on the stencil and then kind of wipe off the excess so there's a thin layer of product. You don't need a lot, but you do just want a nice thin even layer. So once I was done spreading the product, I did lift the stencil up immediately and I lifted it up in one smooth motion slowly so I wouldn't again kind of shift the stencil and change the shape of the stars and then I left it to dry probably a good five minutes or more I did use my heat tool to kind of speed it up a little bit as well once it was dry I was ready to assemble my card here is a close-up of that texture it is nice and thin and crisp plus it's really lightweight doesn't add a lot of weight to the card but you definitely notice the raised look and texture it adds to the background. I just love the subtle look it creates. I'm just using my tape gun to glue that directly down to my card base, which is just some white cardstock. And then I have my stamped images embossed in gold on some vellum and some foam adhesive hidden behind the, the embossed image part and I'm just adhering that straight onto the center of my card. And then I have a matching sentiment embossed in gold on some white card stock as well. To finish everything off and to bring a little bit of gold into that background, I'm adding a few gold sequins using glossy accents and my rhinestone pencil to place the sequins. So here's the finished card with that fun textured star background and the pop of gold from the stamped images and sequins. Just a starry, dreamy card to let someone know you're thinking of them. I'll have all my supplies listed below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. Plus, if you have any questions or a sweet comment, post below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye!